We're talking about Feng Shui with John Dennis Gouver, and he's the author of Art and Hom Art and Harmony, Harmony <laughs> of Place. Um, that direction of sitting or you know that it faces then tells you something about the energy that you are opening yourself up to, and we find that there's a number of meanings for compass you know for directions. Whether it's the Lakota way, you know, there's a Celtic set of directions. There's the directions that the Chinese have. So everybody has like sort of different symbolic relations to different places, and some have totemic animals. And in Chinese, there, there's the I Ching. Uh, that it connects with. So it's like the four cardinal directions and the four intermediate directions. Um, and so what you're sort of looking for, the most popular to the Chinese, is south facing and east facing. Uh, so those are like you could say the most coveted feng shui things. The south because uh, energy or new trends start in the north and then they move to the south. It doesn't matter if it's language. There's new forms of language that start in the north and move to the south. There's new forms of commerce that start in the north and move to the south. There's new forms of everything that happens. And so usually the south in every country is where the oldest traditions are, and the north is where the newer traditions are coming from. By the time that things have migrated for 100 or 1,000 years to the south of a country, everybody knows them. So in other words, to have a south-facing door, you're more popular. In a, you know, so it's easier to make a splash. So if you want to be known, uh, so which is obviously valuable in a business, if you <laughs> want to be known, then you know, you'd want a south-facing door. So and then it invites more opportunity. It invites more connection to the entire world because people recognize it. Uh, an interesting exercise that you can do is go to an industrial or office section of your city. Uh, and e or even drive down a residential street and just go down a street that has north-facing and south-facing doors and you'll find that the doors that face south, there's less of them for sale on that street and there's more of them that have north-facing doors that are for sale on that street. Because the south-facing doors, you know, present so much prosperity that you're able to not get foreclosed on. You're able to, you know, roll with the economic stresses that are happening, especially since 2008, right? You're yeah. able to absorb it and move on uh, and not have to be breached by it, which the north-facing door doesn't, you know, doesn't pull in as much, it, it doesn't attract as much business opportunity. Huh. So if you're running for office, you want to have a south-facing door. Uh, if you are... Uh, if your um, business requires you to work with people at all, I would think, that a south-facing door would be bringing... If you work with people in your home, I should say. Yeah. Then if you have... Uh, whether you're doing consulting work and you have an office in your home and you're bringing people in, the south-facing door would be um, a benefit as well. Right. It's a great benefit because it, 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 people know it. And it, it's sort of correlated with the color of red. You know, and just like the color of red attracts attention, like police always notice the red cars. Um, but, you know, th so there's like an attraction that happens with the South. So that's the value of the South. 